I used to play Fortnite Battle Royale. And I also used to have Microsoft Rewards. And when I was using Microsoft Rewards, I would get a lot of money. I get a lot of dough. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is search, like using Bing, you get some points, and then you can get money to buy games for your Xbox. So I had a lot of free dough from Microsoft Rewards. And I would buy stuff for free by searching on Bing. I'll buy a bunch of games. And when I would buy my games, I would do it smart. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy the game, like, 10-year-old games, 5-year-old games, in a bundle for, like, $20. There's, like, three games in there. I think I got, like, the Tomb Raider bundle pack. You know what I'm saying? Free. $20. Got all three of those games for free. Amazing. I did that for a lot of stuff. I did that for... I got a game called, like... Dude, I don't know what it's called. It's, like, Trials of Odyssey or something, dude. No, it's, like... Gold edition, dude. I don't remember what it's called. I, I I bought games. I don't even know the name of them, dude. They're just considered good games, and I'll get them on sale. They're a bit old, and I got them for really for free because of my Microsoft Bing. I don't even remember the name of the games, dude. But I would get the games, right? And I had all these free games in my library because I, I bought them with my free Microsoft rewards. And I never played them. I never played the games that I got for free. I had a lot of them. I would just play Fortnite, dude. And I realized, like, the value in the Microsoft rewards and the Bing, what I enjoyed most about that was buying games. I didn't enjoy playing those games as much as I enjoyed buying them. And I was getting them for free, by the way. But I had to, you know, search consistently to get the points. So it's like, okay. I wasn't really appreciating those games. Yeah, this, this is how it relates to gratitude, right? You in life, you have things in your life, and you don't appreciate them, and you always want more, you know? So I was playing video games, and I wanted more video games. But what I didn't do is I didn't take the time to sit down and appreciate the games I already had and, and get those and, and play those and enjoy them. I just kept buying new games, kept buying new games. Again, again, I'm getting them all for free. So I'm like that guy. So I'm not. <laughs> so I'm getting them for free. I'm not wasting my money here. But I'm getting all these games for free. I'm investing a little bit of time in searching on uh, Microsoft Bing, typing A and then type A again and then type A again and then enter A, enter A, enter B, enter B, enter B, enter one, two, three, enter one, one, enter, 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 enter. Get five points every time. But the point is, in life, you have things that you don't appreciate. And you need to be grateful for them. Alright? So that's the first story. Now let's go to like a, a more gratitude example. Let's take your parents, right? Your parents give you food and you eat the food and you move on with your life, right? And then you're like, oh man, I wish I had this. I wish I had that. I wish I had the cool new shoes. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. I wish I had more friends, right? But... What if you took some time to appreciate your parents who give you food, right? Appreciate the food that you got. And then you're like, wow, this is amazing. My parents are really great people. Did you know that there's people in Africa who don't have food? And maybe that's a bit stereotypical, but in the way I see it, people in Africa don't have food. I guess I'm racist now, but <clears throat> anyways, people in Africa don't have food, you know what I mean? Or like my mom said, you should go to Cambodia, experience in Cambodia. That's where she grew up, or that's where she was born. And experience what it's like to not have anything. So that's what my parents would always say to me when my brother and I were not being grateful for things. Or not appreciating things. Or just complaining about random dumb things in life. Because they, they were, you know, lower income growing up. And they knew what it's like to have less. And as they grew up, they were able to provide the world for us, you know? So when they see us complaining about little things, or they can see my brother or I complaining about little things, that's the same thing I just said. But when they see us complain, <laughs> complaining about things, they know what it's like to not have, like, anything at all. So they're like, man, what's going on here? Why are you upset about some little thing, you know? And, you know, as a little kid, I don't really understand that. Bro, there's a dog barking at me. He's, like, 10 miles away. Actual sniper right now. Nice. But anyways, 
yeah, they're like, what's going on here? And then as, as a kid, you don't understand. Maybe you understand. Maybe you don't care. You know what I mean? Because that's all you know. All you know is having stuff. And maybe you don't have stuff. But for me, I had stuff. So it's just like, dang. And as I'm growing older, I think this is what I was, what I was trying to say. But as I'm growing older, I realize all the stuff I have. And I got to be grateful for it. And then I'm just happy. Like, I'm just happy, dude. I'm just happy. Like, my life is so good, dude. Like, I'm, like, I'm not even lying. Like, all these people in life, dude, I have a great life. It's actually insane, dude. Like, actually amazing life. Like, like 100% amazing. Like, sure, I don't have all the girls in school, but, like, dude, my life is amazing. I have a family that loves me. Like, I don't get abused or anything. Like, it's just awesome, dude. We don't have any problems. You know, we've had some health problems, but we're working on it. We're being healthier, getting some sunlight, eating healthy. And all that. We, we, dude, it's amazing, dude. No no money problems. My parents have good jobs. Like, my life's actually amazing. And for a period of my life, a couple of years, I was just feeling so depressed for no reason, dude. I was getting bad grades in school because I was make because I had no purpose in life. You know, that's there's a whole reason for that. But like, dude, once I started to like realize and actually sit down and appreciate the good things in my life, everything just changed around. I started gratitude journaling with the journal. I started writing things down in the journal. I am grateful for this because I am grateful for this because, and everything just changed, dude. Everything just changed. I'm, I'm just, I'm just really grateful for everything. Every, even bad things that happen, I can be grateful for. And I'm just like, wow. And then I see this with my friends, right? My friends have a different mindset. I'm at school, and everyone's complaining all the time, dude. They love complaining. And there's reasons for this, but the reason is like we have a teacher, right? And he's a kind of a, an, an unorthodox teacher. So he, he doesn't teach, so to speak, right? He just gave you the worksheet, and you kind of, like, figure it out. And my friends are like, this sucks. This sucks. This is terrible. Arr, this is the worst teacher ever. This class sucks. This class is terrible. And they complain, and they don't enjoy the class. Yeah. But me, on the other hand, I'm like, whoa. I'm being grateful. I'm being grateful for this teacher, this class. It's called financial management, and it's amazing, dude. I love that class, honestly. That's my favorite class. I say that every time. Every time I say, this is my favorite class. I love this class. And my friends look at me like I'm insane. I'm insane to like this class. I'm insane to appreciate the class. And what the class is, you're learning about financial management. And I, again, I have real reasons to appreciate this class. The class is nice because easy, you know, it's, it's not hard, dude. It's like, like, you know, like you take calculus or something. Like, it's actually hard. You know what I'm saying? Financial management is like one times three type B. You know what I'm saying? Like actual very easy, very easy math. So addition and subtraction, multiplication, stuff like that. And it's, it's just applied to like finance. And you actually have to think about it instead of just the teacher teaching you how to do it. And you can ask him for help as well. And that's what I do. So yeah, the class is very, very applicable to real life. I'm trying to learn about money and get, get, some, get myself some money. So I appreciate learning about a, a class that you can actually learn about money. Like, another thing about classes is, like, like history class. I'm not going to use any of that stuff, bro. I, I kind of feel bad, but, like, I'm not. I'm not going to be learning about all this stuff. World War One, World War Two, Haitian Revolution. And, yeah, it, you know, it's all important stuff. You know, I can't lie. That's important. You know, people died for that stuff. But, like, yo, like, you're actually making us do all this stuff for, like, what? Like, we got to memorize all these dates and all that and write all these essays. I'm like, yo, I already know how to read and write. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else do I need from school? You know what I'm saying? So when I get a class like financial management, I'm like, yo, it's actually, like, applicable and actually good. I'm like, that's amazing. Let me actually, like, pay attention type B. I I pay attention to all things. But anyways, yeah, so that's some reason I'm grateful for, grateful for that class. And I like the teacher as well. I just, yeah, I like, I like the teacher as well. They don't like the teacher. So I'm just being grateful. And then people think I'm just, like, insane, dude. They say, you're insane. You know what they say? They said, my friend said, she said that I lie to myself. To enjoy these things in life, right? To enjoy these situations that are not good, right? And you know, there might be a degree of truth to that. Maybe I'm brainwashing myself. I'm lying to myself until I believe it, until I enjoy the classes that they hate. But at the same time, it's like, no, it's not. You know what I mean? Because it's actually true. Like, whatever you believe becomes true, right? So, yeah, I guess I am. I'm brainwashing myself. I'm brainwa I brainwash myself to enjoy life, dude. 
Like, like that's a choice, you know what I'm saying? And when I say that, it's like, oh, man, there's all the different factors. And, oh, man, you know, people got worse lives. And, yeah, that's true. But you can choose your experience. You know, like, I'm, I'm in a classroom. And, you know, everyone got their own lives behind them. You know what I'm saying? Everyone got problems. Everyone got that. But when you're in the class right, right then and there, again, everyone got their own problems, mental problems, whatever. But you can choose your experience, you know? And, again, me saying that kind of sounds disrespectful to people. You know, like, how could you say you're someone who's struggling? Just choose to be happy. You know what I'm saying? How could you say that? I don't know. And I, but, I, but just to myself, like, knowing myself and, and my own history, when I was, like, feeling bad about these things and feeling bad about school and stuff and, and hating it, like, dude, I could have just chose to be happy, you know, like, from my own experience, so myself. And maybe this could be for you, too. Maybe there's a choice there. Maybe it's not so bad because it isn't, right? Maybe it's actually good. Fine. Like, like how could you be grateful for something that's bad, that, that you see in your life is bad? That, like, that's the actionable step today. How can you see something that's bad and see it as grateful? School, I always saw it as something, a waste of my time, a waste of my abilities. You know, a waste, I'm wasting away here. I'm not using my full potential. But then I said, but there's a lot to gain here. There's people to talk to. I can improve my social skills. I can make some money. I started selling candy in school. I can make some friends. I can enjoy myself. I can, I can have some jokes and laugh and good times. And I can actually learn stuff. I can learn math. I'm going to use that in, in, in my life. Financial management. I can take classes that I like and I enjoy. So school stopped becoming something that I hate and something that I'm forced to do. And it's still something I'm forced to do, right? But, you know, I like it now. I, I go there and I like it. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy every day at school. I'm at school. I'm happy. So, like, there was a choice there. And it was really appreciating, choosing to be grateful for school. I am grateful for school because. So, again, actionable step. What in your life can you be grateful for? You know, can you be grateful for, I don't know, man, that's just really up to you, right? Whatever problem you're dealing with, how can you be grateful for it? It's not an easy question. It's a hard question to ask. It may hurt. It may hurt. Like, it may be pain, like physically painful to ask yourself, how can you be grateful for something that you hate about yourself or about your life? About something that's happened to you, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of tough, it's kind of rough. But how can you be grateful for it? If you can answer that question, I think you're gonna find a whole new side to life, and a whole new way to experience what you're experiencing. And I think the road to salvation, or the road to progress, progress, success, improvement, will open up to you. It's time. What are you grateful for? Thank you for watching this video. I'm grateful for you because I think you're an amazing person. I think you're an amazing person for wanting to improve your life. So go do it, man. A lot of people, they don't, they just stay the same. So I wish you all the, I wish you the best. Oh yeah.